Israel says it has almost wiped out Iran's military infrastructure in Syria after Iranian forces fired rockets at an Israeli-held territory in the region. The military exchange between the two regional rivals is being described as the most serious in a great many years. Noah Adam reports. Israel says Thursday's attack was its largest barrage in Syria since the start of the civil war there seven years ago and was also a clear warning to Iran. It came in response to Israeli claims that Iranian forces based in Syria fired some 20 rockets at Israeli military positions in the occupied Golan Heights overnight. Israel's military says it managed to intercept most of the projectiles, adding there was minimal damage and no casualties. The extent of the damage inflicted by the Israeli airstrikes was not immediately clear, but Syria's military said three people were killed. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Iran had, quote, crossed a red line and that his country's action was appropriate. Iran's leaders have not yet issued a response to the Israeli accusations or the military strikes, but if confirmed, it will be the first time Iranian forces have fired rockets directly at Israeli forces. Thursday's exchange was the most direct confrontation between the two adversaries ever, which is reported to have lasted for hours. There are also concerns the fighting could escalate further with other players coming into the mix, such as Iran's Shiite allies in Iraq and the Shiite militant group Hezbollah in Lebanon. Israel, meanwhile, has the backing of the United States, which has called Iran's attack provocative. Iran's rocket attack also came a couple of days after President Trump announced he was pulling out of the 2015 Iran nuclear deal. Russia, another ally of the Assad regime in Syria, has called on all parties to show restraint. Noadam, Arirang News.